ask Kez from St. George to come down. Kez, are you there? I didn't see you. Oh, there you are. Sitting beside me. <laughs> Good morning. I feel like a bit of a fraud because I'm not really in Australia. I'm from New Zealand um, and I moved to Australia many, many, many years ago. But from my homeland and from the people that are my relations, Kiri Ora Herima. That means welcome and welcome to this place in Māori. Um, my ancestors were Irish. My my mum, my dad, um, and all his brothers. So on a Friday night, um, we would gather around the dinner table. I also married into the Maori, Indian, Fijian um, tribes throughout New Zealand. And so Friday night with me was storytelling. And when my ancestors passed away, that baton was handed down to me as a storyteller. I've got the most dreadful colitis, excuse me. Um, Many years ago, when I was offered the opportunity of coming to Australia, um, it gave me a space that I really needed. I was a busy mum, a school teacher, headmistress, um, then became head of uh, Red Cross in New Zealand, and was doing a lot of the admin there, so no time to write except little stories. So when I arrived in Australia, I put my time. All my family stayed in Australia, except my husband in New Zealand, except my husband, who decided to work here as well. So I consider myself very fortunate to um, to have this opportunity to present my books, which are paranormal. I believe that I've been given a, a special space to bring my ancestors into your lives and explain about the power of womanhood and about what they went through in 1800s and how we see it today. Um, Sorry, I've lost my place. <laughs> so from around um, the oceans of the South Pacific, which is many, many islands where I've travelled to, um, and listened to the many stories, they're invited into the many huts and temples and being told their stories. I've actually um, come here to Ireland to experience what it's like to live in a castle, to experience what it's like to be with many beautiful, brilliant authors, listen to their stories and think, I am different, I do have a right to write my stories, uh, because sometimes when you're writing you feel, do I have the right? Who am I? And suddenly it's all made it very, very clear that I have the right to tell you my story. I have a little stall at the back there with three of the paranormal books I have written. Uh, please come up and talk to me, tell me your story, I'd love to hear it. Thank you. Kez has lots of stories to share with you. She also does children's books and has been to Japan. There's lots and lots that you can learn from Kez. So please come and visit her at the back and get to see her display. It's beautiful. Kez will also be published through Make a Magic Happen Press this year as well. So watch out for that. <laughs> 